Now this Isn't this a little bit different from regular videos? Yes, I was just about to say that if you give me a chance. But um but the reason that this has a different feel is because we have entered Is it a new era? Yes, if I was able to announce it myself. We have entered a new era once again. Cause yes, I know y'all see it. The braid era has returned. And it's kind of funny because last time I had these same exact braids, it signaled the start of the last new YouTube era where I did my Megatron challenge. They call me King of Tron, the name is Keith Song. They stay watching me, but this is not a recon. Keep wishing, this ain't a fairly odd appearance. They let you go outside like that, you got some odd appearance. Which spawned a whole bunch of other little remixes from the iconic summer 2019. That's too much of a coincidence for me. A little spooky <laughs> or strange. Funny you mention spooky and strange, cuz... Well, you see the title. So sad how Mandela died in prison. Right. <clears throat> died in prison. Were you hit in the back of the head with a frying pan? No, my whole family believes it as well. We were just talking about it yesterday. And my friend's whole family, and my whole class, and my other friend's whole family, and all of my brother's step cousins, friends, aunts, brothers, babysitters, whole family, and a friend of 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 a friend's whole family. Well, then they are psychotic too. Ugh. Just take a look. A day of remarkable events, some violence, and a day of historic change as Nelson Mandela stepped into the African afternoon a free man for the first time in more than 27 years. Oh, wait. Hold on. No! The Mandela Effect collective misremembering of a fact or event. The term Mandela Effect was first coined by the paranormal enthusiast Fiona Broom, who along with people from all over the world remembered former South African President Nelson Mandela as having died in prison during the 1980s. People even remembered watching Mandela's funeral on TV during the 1980s. In fact, after 27 years in prison, Nelson Mandela was released, went on to become South Africa's president, and didn't die until 2013. So why do a large amount of collective people tend to believe the same memories to be true? And if you don't think it affects you today, let's get into these. Apparently, Curious George never had a tail. The Monopoly Man never had a monocle. This one really gets me because I could have swore it was there. Pikachu never had that little black thing at the end of his tail. It's Snow White the Evil Queen never says magic mirror on the wall. She says mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all. I kind of knew that one, but y'all didn't. <laughs> Let me stop. E.T. never says E.T. phone home. It was E.T. home phone. And I didn't even plan for this one to be in the video. I just saw 
it was never our huff and our puff and our Blair House down and the three little pigs. It was our huff and our puff and our Blair House in. Fruit of the Loom logo never had that cornucopia in the back, apparently. It just looked like this. Next, we have the Berenstain, Berenstain, whichever one, Bears. Apparently, it was always an A, but some people think it was an E. And I think I saw something where people seeing it claim to have seen with the E on old TV guides or books or whatever, but apparently it was always an A. Apparently, in Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal Lecter never says, Hello, Clarice. And the line was just, Good morning. Why do so many people remember Hello, Clarice being in that movie? It's not Oscar Mayer with an E. It's always been Oscar Mayer with an A. This is a small difference, but in the Mr. Rogers theme song, you know, in the beginning, and it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. You that? He never said it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It was, it's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. The Kit Kat bar never had a hyphen between Kit and Cat. Apparently, Tony the Tiger's nose wasn't always blue. This one about the Target logo. Flintstones having two T's. It was never called cheese it It was always cheese it This confusion about it being Chuck E. Cheese or Chuck E. Cheeses. Febreze never had two E's. <laughs> Apparently, it was always Jif peanut butter and not Jiffy. The line was never, Luke, I am your father. No, I am the father. And Looney Tunes was always T-U-N-E-S and not T-O-O-N-S. So, you think it's never affected you on how many of those did you fall into the delusions of false reality? No, we all know who the delusional one is here. No, no, no. Mandela effect, Mandela effect, Mandela effect. Even my sister has dabbled into the false realities of the Mandela effect. And she's ex... Exceptionally bright. Especially when it comes to the Mandela effect. Mandela this, Mandela that. You better man tell her she's crazy. Watch it, sir. Or my foot gonna be Mandela in your face. Don't be mad just because we remember stuff that you can't. Oh, and I suddenly remember having complete rights to your entire bank account. That means I could just have it now, right, Mandela? All right. We want to settle this here. I'll give you my opinion before y'all two over there end each other. Okay, y'all two over there is really sending me. What is behind all these false memories? He never even said Luke got to be kidding me. Claire, can somebody make it clearer? I don't care what it says. I'm still saying mirror, mirror. He never had a tail. He never had a monocle. Did somebody write this down? Keep it in the chronicle, but no. Did nobody store it? He really never had a tail. Did the artist forget to draw it? But wait, science or magic? This whole ordeal seems really quite tragic Trying to figure out what really, what really happened Or is it two timelines and they overlapping Trying to figure out what really, what really happened But is it two timelines and they overlapping Overlapping, 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 over <sighs> Okay, but who's right? It's never enough, is it? A possible quantum explanation for the Mandela Effect was put forth by physicist Fred Allen Wolf. He defined a difference between the reality in our dreams and the reality during our waking hours. Wolf describes quantum physics as being made up of probabilities, and out of those probabilities, actualities manifest. Wolf maintains that the collective unconscious manifests in our dreams and reflects what the entire planet as a whole is experiencing. Sometimes the Mandela Effect is so strong that it overtakes reality. So, what do you think about all of this? Do you think... Maybe these collective memories just spring from things that we have thought of in the past and just all suddenly remember it being one way when in reality it's another way and these false memories just cloud our brain to have us believe that, oh, this is definitely like this when it wasn't. Are these false memories just blurring our vision to the truth? Or is it something more mysterious at play with these 
alternate dimensions and overlapping timelines and different versions of different worlds and alternate dimensions. Let's not count it out completely because I know you was looking at some of those Mandela effects like I could have saw it was mm, alternate dimension. How about an alternate dimension where you never came up with this video idea? Shouldn't you be done by now? Shouldn't you have a job by now? Mandela effect, my background was never blue.